How's it going? It's Fire Nick. Welcome back to the American Map, episode 17. Today we got the semi and the 8240 combine, case H combine, up in field 23. We're going to harvest the corn today. Ryler said that it's okay, so he's going to lease some land off here. Probably going to take about half of eight, and he can have the other. We're going to take the straight half of eight, and he can have that goofy other half of eight. They'll probably pick half of eight. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll have enough to fit that pit, but we'll have to see. We I don't think he started harvesting that thing, and I don't know when he's going to harvest it. And I do apologize, guys, that my mic was a little quiet last time. I got that problem fixed, so we should be all uh, good there. So let's sit here for a minute, get everything, let it idle. Crank her in, let's go. So we'll just stab in right here. And we'll just pick this corn, then we're gonna pick the main field of 19 at the home farm there. And then harvest for us is all done. Then we might have to help Ryler pick some sunflowers and corn, you know. I'll we'll have to see how things get there. I don't like how the case map, the case combine wander is set up. I like the deer, how it shows your bushels and everything. But there probably is a way with the case combine. I've never ran a case combine before, so I couldn't tell you. So, let's just back this bad boy up. We're going to pick these few rows over here. Probably should be taking Edland off, but we'll get her. I just want to get these rows off down here by the truck a little bit. Um, that way it's clean over here. Like, we might even get... We might get a truck if we're lucky between both of these fields. So, I'm kind of happy that Ryler will let us. We'll be able to rent some land off him just because we didn't plant a lot of corn just for the simple reason. I don't know why. Because Carson, he wanted to plant a lot of beans and I wasn't a big fan on it. But, I guess it turned out the better run. So, I guess if we're going to plant more corn, that means we better get a bigger corn head. And maybe trade that smaller deer off for... The STS 9560. Or the 90, uh. I don't know what he did, so. I couldn't tell you. Oh, well, the combine looks to be pretty good. Nice stench and auger there for us. What else is going on? This field is a lot different than what an average field is. You guys would see field 23, Carson and I, and Demon. Uh, we went around the thing with big plows and we made it a heck of a lot bigger. Just so we could grow more acres on it, all this waste of space, why not pick it, right? Like all that grassland was there. We might as well, like, it was just wasted. Why didn't they make the field bigger when they started? That's what I would have thought, but we're all good. So we'll be probably sticking with this map for quite a while until I get some more good maps that get the triggers and stuff figured on it. But otherwise, I think we're gonna stay on this map for quite a while. Tirebug, I think he's doing like rolling hills or something. So. It's a little weird over there. A little glitch. Drop this guy down. Mirrors are being really weird, it looks like it. This field does kind of go into a weird shape because where'd the field end? Right about here, the field used to end. Look at all this extra space we got. Pretty good. Cool. Looks like we might almost get our just about all on a full combine, honestly, guys. Like, this stuff ain't yielding the greatest, but it ain't that big of a field either. Corn yields pretty good. Back up and get these couple uh, strips that we missed. Every kernel counts, you know. So what do you guys all want to see on this map here? Uh, we did Sugar King for you guys. Do you guys want some uh, more Sugar King? Potatoes, you know. What type of animal do you guys want us to get next? We got cows going. I'm honestly in the mood for getting pigs going. Just because a lot of people haven't been getting pigs going. We got horses. I really don't really need to get sheep just for the sake of it. All they need is hay. They're pretty easy and simple. I think we should go on pigs down the road here. 
We'll have to maybe look into that and let us know what you guys think about pigs. But I don't know where to put them, that's the thing. We'd have to make another spot like what we did up at the cow farm. We could either make the cow farm bigger and make it bigger and then we put pigs on half of it and move the horses up there too. So that way the live is livestock's all up there and this is more of the grain farm. It could be a possibility. Let me know if you guys like that idea or you like the horses around the main farm. I don't know what to do. I'm asking you guys for some opinions here. Let me know by dropping them in that comment section. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be back posting here daily pretty much now. Um, or every other day, however it goes. I'm not sure yet. So, we should be back. i got lots of time. Christmas is over. On break until January 7th when you guys go back to school. If you guys even are in school or go back to work, college, whatever you guys do. Or maybe you just stay home. You're retired and you just chill around all day. That'd be a fun life. But yeah, I think I'd pretty get much pretty bored uh, doing that. So this combine was done done up pretty good. Just the only thing I hate about this case combine is I think I'm gonna keep honestly putting it against this case combine is the braking system sucks in this combine pretty good. So we might honestly trade this one off for the deer. It's hard to say. Then all you case guys are going to get mad. Why did you trade that off for that piece of junk deer? Because I know you guys are going to be like that. So I feel like we should trade off the other one and maybe go. Just the only thing is I don't want to run a 45 foot head. But we could run those... Um, I can see if I can get find like a 40 foot head or 35. Like even if John Deere had a 30 foot head in Farm Sim 19, it'd be pretty good. Because I feel like a lot of people would rather use it over that 40 right away. 45 actually. Just because 45 is a little bit big for that combine. Is that combine realistic? It should be around a 45. Maybe a 9870, but a 9670? No. 35 is enough for it. In real life, at least. But farm sim's a little different, so... Yeah. But in real life, our 35-foot head's enough for it. Like, there's no way. If we wanted to go bigger head, we'd have to fine-tune it or get a bigger combine. Because there's no way that combine's got enough power to run it. Because that combine is made to run a 30-foot head. Not a 45, a 30 in real life. Or smaller. So we basically have to get extension on our uh, pipe too, because that's another thing. Because our pipe is not long enough for any more than what it is. Like our pipe is probably like 36 feet long, something like that, and the head's 35, so there ain't a lot of room to play around kind of sucks we got to get a it works but you just got to be on the ball when you're paying attention because you don't want to rub the heck out of that uh green head the end snow rub it up and it'll be all no good because we just got this graper it's two years old now this be the 2019 to be the third year we'll have it so and then we're running the chopping corn head pretty sure you guys know that one if you've watched the farming real life videos Pretty much similar to this head, but it's chopping. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot more better videos of real life farming here coming up in 2019. I have new GoPro, thinking about, I got two GoPros now, so we get lots of different angles. Uh, I got more mounts coming. I got lots of good stuff now, so don't worry guys. Expect some awesome, really good farm, real life farming content coming out to Squad Farms here in the spring of us working the ground. I should be coming out here shortly. Not just drone footage and stuff like that. Uh, I don't have a drone. I might get one, but I don't really want one. To play the truth. We might get an off-brand one. We'll see. Seventy-eight percent. Pretty 
Cool. So this video probably isn't going to be a normal long one just because it's going to take its time to get everything going. Oh, I got an idea. Garage. I think I seen a pressure washer back there. What do we all got? That could be some of the leg. I think that's gonna have to be some of the leg right there. Let me try that. We'll have to see if that fixes anything, guys. I don't know. The pressure washers have been really weird on rolling hills on the when our uh, live streams. One of the pressure washers is when it was placed down on the ground as usual, and then the next day when I pulled back up, when I went back in the server, the pressure washer was above the shed. Now, how does that work? Do you guys know much about that stuff? You guys are wondering why I swung my pipe out that way I didn't hit that tree back there. Brake sock. Tell you, this combine might not be too much for corn. But I like this combine, it's a decent size of a combine, I like it. But I just wish the braking was fixed. So if someone knows how to do that and they want to fix this combine, um J H H T releases combine, I believe, somewhere. I think he did. Um, so you guys can find it, and then whoever wants to fix the brakes, let me know when you fix the brakes, and I'll give her a shot, and hopefully it's a lot better than what it is. See so here, you can never tell. Too good. We're gonna fill the front hopper first, and then I imagine everything in this field will go in the front hopper, then everything in the other field, we'll just put it in the back hopper. So this is a nice feature that you can actually see the chain rolls and everything. They did that pretty good. I don't think we'll be able to see them. No, I can't see the, uh, I was like, I could show you guys the uh, stuff underneath, but I can't show you the chop, what makes it a chopping head. There's like the little lawnmower blades. There you guys can see them. See those lawnmower blades right here? We gotta stay back. You guys can see that round thing that's just spinning? Those are lawnmower blades on the bottom. Two of them put on a kind of like a spline thing. And then it's just, it goes around and around and around, and it cuts off the uh, point stock so it's nice and short. Um, they made that so you don't have to put, run the brush hog or the cutter across the ground, because that's what it's basically doing for you. You burn a little bit more fuel, we noticed, but it's worth it in the end. But there's one thing about it. When you're ripping or plowing, we've noticed here, because of our ripper and stuff, it's nothing bad about it, it's a case, 875 ripper. So you basically got to be, combine gets down on that field, get the fertilizer right on it when you're pulling, like picking the last eight rows, have them set for the last eight rows are in there. Fertilizers coming across and have the ripper right on the fertilizer on the air flow or interrogator, whatever you guys like calling them. Just get the comp buying and everything. Just that's how we kept doing it all winter or all uh, fall. Just because we weren't wasting time. We did end up getting a few fields that we wanted to get done earlier, but it got so wet that the combine was really steering with the brakes. There was nothing really we could have done with it besides left it until it froze up, but it never really froze up. So the tractor was a uh, disgrace when I got back home. But everything is done, as I've probably told you guys, and it's just nice to sit back and kind of relax. And yeah, uh, there'll be probably a new tractor video, uh, an update on the John Deere 8270R when it shows up. Uh, that's probably not gonna show up till the spring, just because we don't want it to show up in February when all there's salt on the ground and everything. 
So we're going to make sure that they're going to probably bring it up and we'll stick it on the planner and make sure it works for a week. And if there's no problems on it, then the 8260R will go back to. But we've had problems with some of these R tractors. We've had a few problems with them. That there's been codes and stuff going missing with them. or They're all messed up. Some spots. I'm not saying nothing's bad about deer, but there's just a few sensors that are not the greatest there. Like, I like an 8430 better than any 800 8R series tractor. I would love, I would take an 8430 or an 8530 over any of those kind of tractors just because I don't know I just love the older tractors a lot better than the R's and all that stuff they're a lot too fancy for me but I like the old 8530s and 8430 I love those two the most brakes see here's your brakes you get them stopped and you get to the other end hate this combine I tell you, I'm about ready to go get the deer. We'll see, I might have to just go drop the head and say, see it, Case. Take it to the junkyard right there. All right, she's up now. Go over here and we'll see how things go. Tree there. Whip this bad boy around here pretty darn quick. So I imagine we'll have to go help Ryler pick the rest of Field 8 here shortly, so probably not gonna put this combine away. We'll probably end up running four combines because we got two combines and Ryler has two combines up there. He has a case and a deer. Bigger case than what we got, but I don't know if he wants our little combines coming. We'll have to see how things go. So I'm not sure what he's running for heads. I think it's running like a 16, 17 or whatever the hell the biggest one is in farm sim here. I know I'm missing a lot. Cause there needs to be GPS, come on guys, get the GPS out here. I said it was coming soon, well that was about a month ago. Well, yeah, I was say a month ago. A while ago, three weeks, four weeks ago. It's just like, you say it's coming, you get everybody pumped for it, and it doesn't come. So, I was a little unhappy about that one. Because everyone used GPS, and I'm surprised Giants didn't throw it in or have someone making it right away for them. Because you know, there was not too many people that did not use GPS in FS17. I don't know if Giants are pushing it back on purpose so people can try and learn how to drive combines and stuff. Is that how it is? I don't know, but... I relied on GPS a lot, and a lot of us did. I know that. So that's where I'm kind of starting to suck at this stuff because I use GPS for everything in FS17. There wasn't too many things that I didn't use it for. Mirrors don't work in this combo for some reason today. Down. Up. Just keep her getting her going here. Grab all these little mists here. It's up and down. You know, kind of sucks, but hey. What else can you do?
back this bad boy up. Stop in the semis, get the airbags warmed up. Build the pressure up on her. All right, let's head her down. We're not gonna fold the head up because we're only eight rows head and the gear combine, it doesn't fold up and everything. So yeah, should be able to fit through around here. I think the lag problem fixed that one. Must have been a pressure washer in the ground. I'm glad we fixed it. Let's crank this bad boy on. Worker on that. Now let's go get this guy moving. Flip this bad boy around. Take the sign out, you know. It's all good. Take this to the field, we'll back it kind of in the field where we're going down. And we'll see what the combine's doing. And we're just gonna have that guy in a higher worker. Probably gonna wash up that grain cart if we're not using it anymore. Tuck it at the shed, pull out the plow. You know, just get all that kind of stuff done. You won't know if we just drove through that. Always keep it over here on the side that way because the hired worker will uh, sense it and everything. It's pretty weird. That's how those hired workers do that. What else can we check on why we're kind of standing around here? Eight hours just sitting here, you know? Let's go get the shit door open because I'm quite sure it's closed up. No, it is open. Miracle. A grain cart is gonna go... I don't know. Let's find a spot for it. Worst comes to worst, we can stick it over here. Grain cart's pretty clean, so let's back it in. I got a feeling this ain't gonna work. The ripper's back there. That should come out. Let's go get the um, skid steer and the attachment here. I don't think I've really showed this off attachment much off here, but I'm gonna show you guys now. So I have a skid steer attachment here that will pick up basically any three point thing. Um, and then I put the weight on the front so that way I can move all these header trailers around. So it works pretty good. I wish there was an actual hitch thing on one of these, but this works pretty good. That way, I don't have to mess around. It's a lot realistic. I wish you could punch a hole on one of your forks or your bucket, and you could jam stuff in like that. Because that's what a lot of people do with skid steers. I know we don't have a skid steer in real life, as you guys probably know. Farm tour video should be coming up very shortly. I don't know if I can pick this baler up. Don't think so. I got an idea. I got this heavy lift mod in here. I just stick that one over there for right now. 
Now I know I can get this corn head because I put the corn head actually in here, so that's the nice part about it. See, I'm pretty good at this stuff. I've done this too much in farm sim here. Won't be able to pull that, uh, ripper out by the, uh, what is it? By the skid steer attachment thing there, so let's pull it out in 7R. Might actually run this thing on the ripper here for the first bit and put the, uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Pretty good plow here. Now let's get this guy moved over here. Maybe. Too much. It's the hardest part backing and stuff, I feel like. Farm sim here at least. Got the grain cart back in there. Um, where are we gonna stick this thing for right now? Stick it up by the 4640 here. 4640 has the oats and stuff for the uh. What is it? For the courses down there. So that tractor stays on that. Just a nice little chore tractor around the farm. Let's back this bad boy in the shop to get greased up and checked over for the last year here. Make sure it's all, all the bearings and everything are good. Get it back in here, check it over, and we'll try her tomorrow. So we'll get this thing checked over here. I'll let the mechanic in here check it over for me. Uh, what else can we work on here? Put that corn head back in there, I guess, quick. And I think that's going to be it for today. I'm not caught on anything, buddy. A little weird. The tracks are glitching through the ground now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so that we are alerted when we post a new video. As always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for all watching and have a great night. Thanks, guys.